my goodness. Twiggle had a butterfly that just landed right on his head. Twiggle, isn't it beautiful? Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Today we're gonna talk about butterflies. I'm so glad that he came to visit. It's beautiful. Hi guys, I'm Miss Heather and this is Twiggle. And welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. It's so great to see you guys today. Can you say hi Twiggle? It's so great to see you. Today we are talking about spring. I can't wait till it gets here. It's gonna be here soon and things are gonna start to change and it's gonna get a little warmer outside and the flowers are gonna start to grow. I even brought some beautiful flowers with me today. I love spring flowers. And I even have these beautiful flowers behind me. I just can't wait for spring, can you? I know, I just love it. Today, we are going to talk about something pretty amazing that happens in the springtime. We're gonna talk about how a beautiful butterfly becomes a butterfly. First, it's a really cute caterpillar and it turns into a butterfly, but I would love to read the story to you about how that happens. Would you like to hear it? Okay, let's read the story first today, okay? All right, I'm gonna put you down right by these beautiful flowers and you can listen to the story too, okay? Are you guys ready to listen to my story? I have it sitting right here. It is called the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Look at him. That is going to turn into a butterfly. Can you believe it? And the author is Eric Carl. I love Eric Carl, and he's also the illustrator. He also writes the words and draws the pictures. He illustrates them too. Are you ready for this story? This is a great story. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. Do you see that little egg on the leaf? So there's that little egg right there. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. See him? Can you see him? He's right there. He's so little. He's just a little guy that came out of that egg. He started to look for some food. Oh, and wait till you hear everything he eats. Are you ready? On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Look at you see that little hole right there? He ate right through that. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Caterpillars get super hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Three of them. See the holes in them that he ate? Can you see those? Oh my goodness. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. Still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. He has eaten all this stuff and he's still hungry. Look at him. He's crawling through here. Oh, he's so, so hungry. Oh no. On Saturday, he ate through, are you ready for this? Listen to everything he ate. One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Would you look at everything he ate? All on Saturday. But look at right here. Do you see this poor little guy? He does not have a very happy face right there. And he says that night he had a stomach ache. I'll bet he did. Look at all that junk he was eating. Oh my goodness, he's been eating a lot. The next day, 
was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. So he ate through that leaf. Made his tummy ache feel better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And guess what? He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Now, he was a big, fat caterpillar. Look at how big he gets. Look at that. Wayne, I want you to see that. Look at that. Look at how big he got after eating all that food. So guess what he did? He built a small house called a cocoon or a chrysalis around himself, okay? And he stayed inside of it for two weeks. And then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. So look at this is where he lived for two weeks. He made that cocoon. Isn't that amazing? He made that cocoon. When he was done in two weeks, he, he nibbled a little hole in it and pushed his way out. Guess what happened? He was a beautiful butterfly. Can you believe that? Look at, this is what he looked like. And then after he went into his uh, cocoon, he turned into a beautiful butterfly. The end, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that amazing? I love the very hungry caterpillar. So Twiggle, what did you think of that book? First, he was a little egg, right? Then he ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and ate, ate so much stuff, didn't he? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Then he put a cocoon around himself, which was really cool, and he stayed there for two weeks, right? Yep. Yeah. And then he nibbled out a little hole, and out came, come here, little butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? That's an amazing story. Let's learn more about the life cycle of a caterpillar. Hi guys, I am so excited and ready to teach you about the amazing, amazing thing that happens to a caterpillar. And it's actually a very big word. It's called metamorphosis. It's a big word, can you say it? Metamorphosis. It is a word that means um, how something becomes to turning into an adult. So when, let me show you. When it, the, remember in the story, the caterpillar was, uh, was first an egg and it came out and it was just a little tiny caterpillar. And then it grew and grew and grew and grew. And then it ate a lot and it put a cocoon or a chrysalis around it. A chrysalis is the, the cocoon, that like blanket that it makes to put around it. And it turns into a butterfly. It is just amazing. That is called metamorphosis. It's a big word. I know you can say it. Say it one more time. Metamorphosis. Great job. So I wanted to show you today how amazing it is, okay? Now, the story already kind of told us, but first of all, I want to tell you butterflies, like this one, is actually an insect. It is actually an insect because it has six legs and an antenna and three parts to its body. So it's actually an insect. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. Now, four things happen for it to turn into a butterfly. And we remember, we talked about it in the story. So the first thing that happens is it is an egg, okay? So first it is an egg. Let me make sure you guys can see this, okay? Then, out, pop, out pops the caterpillar, okay? That's the second thing that happens. The third thing that happens is it makes the chrysalis or the cocoon. Remember in the story, he made that blanket and he stayed in there for two weeks? That's called a cocoon or chrysalis. Those are both pretty big words. Those mean the same thing. So the third thing that happens is it turns into a chrysalis. Then, pop, 
out comes the beautiful butterfly. Now, to learn about this metamorphosis, it's so amazing. But the mommy butterfly, guess what? The mommy butterfly lays hundreds, hundreds of tiny eggs on a leaf, okay? Then out comes that cute caterpillar, right? And they want to eat. Caterpillars come out and oh my goodness, they're so hungry. They're hungry, hungry, hungry. And they eat and eat and eat and eat. And the more they eat, the bigger it gets, right? So that's the second stage. It's a caterpillar it's eating and getting bigger and bigger. But then, guess what the caterpillar decides to do? The caterpillar, this cute little guy right here, the caterpillar, look how big he is. He's eaten so much. Look at, he used to be this little, and then he ate so much and he got super duper big and strong. And he decides it's time to stop eating. I'm all done eating now. And I'm gonna go find a nice safe spot to make its chrysalis or its cocoon. So usually sometimes you'll see them on the back of leaves or on branches. I have a picture right here. They're growing on, he put his cocoon or his chrysalis on a log. Do you see it hanging there? And remember, that goes into the cocoon. Here's my cocoon. It goes there for two weeks. Remember, it takes two weeks for him to turn him to this cute little worm that's in there. It's going to turn into our fourth stage after it's done growing in there and growing its beautiful wings in there um, finally metamorphosis is complete and it turns into this beautiful beautiful butterfly that is metamorphosis and i think that is just so amazing so they go through four stages to become an adult. That's metamorphosis. It's an egg, then it's a little tiny caterpillar, then it turns into a big caterpillar after eating so much. It makes a cocoon and it turns into a butterfly. I think that is just amazing. That is a wonderful wonderful science experiment or that will happen in spring. It's amazing. Twiggle, we have something really important to do today. We need to talk about our science lesson today. And our science lesson today is something that is a very big grown up word, but I think you can say it. Can you try? Okay. It's called metamorphosis. Can you say that? Metamorphosis. It's an amazing word, isn't it? It's a big word. And it is how a beautiful butterfly becomes a butterfly because first it is a caterpillar. So metamorphosis will teach us how it comes from being a baby into a butterfly. Doesn't that sound cool? Can you say metamorphosis? Good job. Did you guys say metamorphosis? It's a big word. Metamorphosis with butterflies happen a lot in the springtime. That's something that we get to look forward to seeing are more butterflies in the spring, which I think is pretty amazing, don't you? I'm gonna put you down and I wanna teach these guys a little bit about the four stages of metamorphosis, okay? Okay, you stay right here real close so you can listen to with our friends, okay? Metamorphosis, the very first thing, remember there's four things that happen for a butterfly to, to turn into a butterfly. The first thing is its mother lays hundreds, I mean hundreds of eggs on a leaf, okay? And when it lays them on the, on the leaf, the mommy leaves them on the eggs, and that's the first stage of metamorphosis, okay? The second stage of metamorphosis is, guess what? Just like in the story, pop, out comes a caterpillar. That's the second stage. So finally, the little caterpillar comes out. The third stage 
is the chrysalis or the cocoon. Chrysalis and cocoon means the same thing. It's the blanket from that little story that we read, The Hungry Caterpillar, the brown blanket or the green blanket that they put around them to protect themselves while they're turning into a butterfly is called the chrysalis. That is the third stage of metamorphosis. Then finally, the fourth stage is, ta-da! It turns into that beautiful butterfly. But remember, it takes a couple weeks. It's gotta sleep and get strong and grow those wings in the cocoon or the chrysalis for two weeks. Now, this is what I want to tell you, which I think is super cool. Let me get this out. I have something I wanna to use to show you. I got my felt board right here. I wanted to show you that first, the eggs come and pop. Remember, out comes the cute little caterpillar, but it's really, really tiny when it comes out of its egg, right? It's really little. So there he is, that's the first stage. Remember, that's the first stage of metamorphosis is when he's little, tiny caterpillar, okay? The next stage, remember, he eats so much. Caterpillars are so hungry. They have to get big and strong to turn into a butterfly. So they eat and 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 oh boy, the seconds, look at this. The second they start eating and they just keep growing and growing and growing, then when they're big and strong, finally, finally it finds a very safe place to put its chrysalis or its cocoon because it's gotta be there safely for two weeks while it gets strong and grows its wings and turns into a beautiful butterfly. So that is what happens next. Then, after two weeks of living in that chrysalis and working so hard to grow those wings, because remember, he used to look like this. He doesn't even have any wings. So while he's in that chrysalis or that cocoon, he's got to grow those wings. And guess what happens next? Ta-da! Metamorphosis happened. It turned into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. I just think that's amazing. I think it's so amazing what happens. And you know what? In the springtime where we live in Pennsylvania, springtime, there are butterflies that come out. and. Um, it, remember, it takes them a couple weeks um, after they, um, it's in the cocoon. So when, if ever you see a caterpillar or you see a cocoon, make sure that you don't touch it. You just look with your eyes because it is working so hard for metamorphosis. Remember, that means that's how it turns into a beautiful butterfly. I think that's amazing. I can't wait for spring so that I can see the butterflies. I hope you get a chance to see them too. Next, we are going to make a caterpillar out of balloons and paint. Come on, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go get this stuff ready. All right, I think I have everything ready for our home activity. Remember, if you need to look again and make sure you have everything you need to do this home activity today, just go on to the home learning page, learning at home page, and um, the instructions are all on there and everything that you need to do it, okay? This is what you're gonna need today. I have green paint, yellow paint, red paint, I have a big piece of white paper. You can even use a small piece of paper if you don't have a big one. I have two paper plates just because I'm gonna put my paint on there so I can just throw it away when I'm done. I have a piece of green paper, just a little piece, and a piece of yellow paper to make the caterpillar's eyes, but if you don't have that, that's okay. You can draw them on your painting when your painting's done. You can do it however you want. That's the great thing about being an artist. You need scissors, a glue stick for his little eyes, and I have a marker to draw on the antenna and his little feet. Are you ready for this? Okay. Just so that you guys can see it better, I'm going to hang it up and make it. 
you guys can do it on your counter, on your table, but I'm going to put it up here so that you guys can see it, okay? So, oh, I forgot to tell you the biggest, most fun part. You need two balloons. Hmm, what are we going to use the balloons for? Let me show you. This is the best part. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of red paint on my first plate, okay? You don't need very much. Then this is the part that's kind of cool. I want it to look like um, Eric Carls, the author of The Hungry, Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm going to put a little bit of green paint on my plate, okay? See, I just put a little bit. But then I'm gonna swirl a little bit of yellow on there just to make the caterpillar look really cool. You know what? You can make your caterpillar whatever color you want. You can make it purple and pink if you want to. It doesn't matter. When you're an artist, you can do whatever you want. But this is what I'm going to do. I mixed a little yellow with the green. And then I have a little bit of red. Now, are you ready for this? I'm gonna take my first balloon. Okay, and you don't need to um, blow it up very much. You might need a grown up to help you and that's okay because it's hard to tie a balloon, okay? So you don't do it very hard and then I'm, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this balloon, this, this is gonna be my paintbrush today, and I'm gonna put it into the red paint, okay? Now on my paper, I'm gonna put a red circle with my balloon. Do you see it? Isn't that cool? That is going to be the Very Hungry Caterpillar's head, okay? So now, with the second balloon, because you only need two balloons, unless you want to do lots of colors, but I'm only going to do these. We're gonna do the same thing. But I'm gonna dip it this time into the red and yellow. And I'm gonna kinda of mix it up a little bit. It's gonna be so cool. And here it is, see it? Now, I have to make the body of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So this is what I'm going to do. You can do it however you want. But I'm gonna put one here. One, two, I'm gonna dip it back in here again. I want lots of good colors, okay? Three, four, five. Isn't that amazing? So now we have the head and the body. Do you see I didn't put it in a straight line because caterpillars are always crawling and they kind of bend, so I made mine bend, but you can do it however you want to. Now, isn't that cool? It's gonna be so pretty when it when it dries. Don't touch it when it's wet because you'll, you'll um, get paint on your hands, so I'm gonna let that dry. Now, you can make your eyes for your caterpillar however you want. You can draw them on when you're done. You can cut them out. I'm gonna show you what I did. I got a little piece of yellow paper and a little piece of green paper and I cut out circles. Look at The yellow circles in the back and then I put a green circle in the front. And I made two because caterpillars have two eyes. Now if it was dry, but my painting is wet, I would put some glue in the back. So you might need some glue, but since mine's wet and I want you to get to see it, I'm just going to put them right on the wet paint. Okay? So he has two eyes. Isn't he so cute? Now with my black marker, I'm going to draw antennas. See that? And he needs some little feet, right? So that he can crawl around and go get all that food that it eats, okay? I'm not gonna put him on his head. He doesn't have feet on his head. But I'm gonna give him some little feet right here. Isn't he cute? You can put as many feet as you want. And since I don't want it, well, you know what, just because guys are so special. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to give him a little smile. Even though my paint was wet, it worked. Isn't that cool? Look what I made. I made, now look at this. 
here is the story we read today. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And guess what? We made our own. You guys can be artists too, just like Eric Carl. And we didn't even need paintbrushes. We used balloons. I think that's pretty awesome. And you know what? If you get the chance, you can also make butterflies because this cute little guy is gonna turn into a butterfly. And if you look at yesterday's PBS lesson, it had a butterfly, so check it out and see. And you can put it as a metamorphosis. You can use that big grown up word and say, I made a metamorphosis. It went from a caterpillar and it turns into a butterfly. It's really amazing. I hope you get a chance to make it. Hi guys, we had so much fun today, didn't we? I loved teaching you guys and talking about spring and metamorphosis and butterflies and caterpillars. It was so fun, wasn't it? You loved it. And that butterfly even landed on your head at the beginning. It was so funny. I know, it's so funny. I loved that we read a story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. That was so good. And I loved that it came from a little egg and it turned into a caterpillar and it ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and, it, and then it turned into a, a butterfly. I just think it's so beautiful, isn't it? So then we um, made our own caterpillar. Isn't that great? It looks just like the one from our book that we read today. I know, I love it. Now, if we just put this beautiful butterfly up here, that is gonna turn into that. Isn't that amazing? Metamorphosis. Such a cool word, huh? I had so much fun with you guys today. I hope that while you were here with us today, oh, thank you, Wiggle. While you were here with us today, that you felt a little bit like our school family. I just love teaching preschool. Do you know what? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a school teacher. And now I'm big and I am. Maybe when you get bigger, you can be a teacher too. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? School is fun. We love school. I hope you guys had a great day and I hope you keep reading and keep learning. Keep watching WQLN PBS where learning comes to life, doesn't it? It does. Until we see you guys again next time, have a great, great week. And hopefully we will start seeing some signs of spring here very soon. And maybe even a butterfly, right? Bye, everybody.